My bow betrayed me because of my birthmark. My boyfriend gave me a choice. I couldn't believe my ears. He said if I didn't remove my ugly birthmark, he'd enter world champs with another partner. Turned out, Luke overheard one of the judges. She'll never win with that mark. Always bullied over my mark, I'd just recently learned not to cry every night. I believed I still could be loved. I taught Luke everything. We were partners both on the dance floor and in life. Three years we'd prepped for world champs, and then my face could end it all. The surgeon said it was a big risk, even up to facial paralysis. But Luke insisted. He wanted to win whatever it took. I made up my mind. I went to the studio to tell him the news. Turned out, he'd already replaced me on the dance floor and in love. Luke wanted to take no chances in case surgery went wrong, and he had no partner. He said I was faulty. For the last three years, I lived for the championship, dancing and Luke. In one go, I lost it all. I quit dancing. I started hating my face again. I'd hide from people and got ready for surgery. I went to the studio to get my things and was stunned. Jared, or as Luke called him, Tin Man, was floating like a butterfly. His dancing was amazing. But he'd always freeze up on stage. He told me he had stage fright. I used to freeze too. I thought everyone was staring at my birthmark. I knew how to help the guy. I hoped he'd achieve something. I taught Jared to imagine there was no audience. He practiced it for hours, and it worked like magic. Behind my back, he enrolled us as partners for champs, though he knew we had no chance according to the judge. Jared didn't want to win. He wanted me to believe in myself again. I said yes. We didn't sleep, but went all in and prepped our program. Luke saw us at champs. He said I wouldn't win, even with a sack over my head. Those words helped me ditch my mask and show my best. Jared and I won gold. I'd found a friend and taught Luke a lesson. Luke blamed his loss on the judge and reminded him of his words. She'll never win with that mark. Turned out, the judge was talking about his pedigree cat before a show. Chasing after glory, Luke lost face, even though it had no birthmark. A stain on the conscience is way worse than one on the face, right?